Hi folks, today we are at Gaston Pickers here in Gastonia, North Carolina. Yeah, it's just a an alternative for shopping at malls is going to an antique place. And you guys know that we like antique shopping. So we're gonna go inside and check out this wonderful store. All right guys, so let's, let's go. go. And I wanted to show you outside here. They get these signs out here for sale too. Check them out. It says, I think it says Jeepers. Yeah. So you got uh, all kinds of cool stuff outside as well. So be sure to check that out. Furniture. It looks like old uh, farm equipment. Advertising. Yeah. Look at all that. And here is the entranceway to Gas and Pickers on 503 Long Avenue. There you go. We go inside. This 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 place is pretty amazing. So we're walking in the first room to your right is right here and check out some of these vintage Christmas decorations. Yeah, these are nice. I'm telling you, you got to look everywhere. Little nooks and crannies of uh, different, even the small items, statues, just relics are in here too. Check them out right there. A little glass case, tons of different furniture. Yeah, th this place is just slam packed. Beautiful China ware. Look at all this wonderful furniture, too. Kind of pan around. There we go. Connie likes looking to you. She likes looking at stuff. And sometimes we'll find some really cool stuff that uh, she'll find before I do. She found some cool vases once that we picked up at a good price. And they were actually uh, pretty valuable. Check out these yeah. knights up here. Those are cool. I love this on moi here. Got a bunch of Tom Clark statues. You're going to see a lot of that in this area because Tom Clark is from here. And check out that lamp. Love that. That's definitely Art Deco right there. And these were highly collectible too. I used to have a bunch of these. My grandmother did the old Hummel statues from Germany. If you have those, yeah, they are worth something. That's for sure. Whole case full. I think you also get the china too with their images on it. And there's old Emmett Kelly right there. Got a cool photo of him there. Uh, some artwork of Emmett Kelly. I'm saying she's got look everywhere look at these old lanterns here too those are very highly collectible look at this one that's 310 right there for that train one that's neat and you got this vintage coca-cola chest right here looks like a coca-cola machine i like that and this is the entryway here look at all the artwork too got some old advertisement oh that was presley poster right there very cool but yeah as you walk in here you go you go into the main part of the uh Gastonia Pickers and check out that taxidermy. Look at the elk up there and the deer. That's pretty amazing. Look how big he is. He's huge. I love that taxidermy. And check out this porcelain Christmas box. Hello. Music box. It's from who? By Linux. By Linux. Oh, okay. Very nice. And you wind it up. And Santa going around the uh, castle here. I guess that's uh, Santa's shop, maybe, or his house. And you got this beautiful train going around. With the music playing, you wind it up. Love this. And if you want your own cigar advertisement in your house, you got this guy right here. And you got some more taxidermy up here. You got that deer right there is kind of cleaning himself. You got the swan, uh, goose right there. And that black bear. And you got more Emmett Kelly stuff right here too. Yeah, Emmett Kelly, pretty popular. Got a lot of Tonka stuff up here, and I still have my Winnebago. I still have that in my collection. But look at all this car goodness here. Look at these little pedal cars here, and all kinds of die casts in that showcase. And this place is so slam packed with booths, man. So much to go through here, too. Got a bunch of vinyl right there as well. Yeah, look at all this. Even up on the shelves, on the ceiling, on the walls, all kinds of stuff. This is one of my favorite booths right here. He's got all kinds of cool trinkets, some vintage toys right here. You have to really go through his stuff too because you might find something. There's some Transformers. But yeah, I've, I've found a few stuff here. Figures, things like that. There's some more vinyl there. He's got some old VHS also. But again, yeah, this place is just slam packed. And you get old Steve Irwin here, the crocodile hunter figure. Yeah, it's pretty neat. 
You got all these Hulks here. Look at all these Spider-Man figures and Transformers right here. There are some more taxidermy here. But yeah, there's a couple good ones in here that uh, have all kinds of goodies in it. Look at this one. Just you got to look and look. All kinds of stuff. A lot of great Christmas gift ideas here. Check them out. Looking at you. And then up here, you get a fox. Looks like he's getting that uh, pheasant right there. I'm guessing that's a pheasant. But he's in that glass case, so no telling where he's been. Maybe in a museum or something. And you get this standee of Tonto in the Lone Ranger. All kinds of gift ideas through here. Look at the size of these wagon wheels. Huge. So I spoke to Charlie. He owns the booth and getting him for two bucks. Yeah, I need to get Steve Irwin. And we continue our tour. And I wanted to show you this here. Look at this vintage Kentucky Fried Chicken. Light up right here. There you go. So you're gonna find stuff like that, man. That's that freaking awesome. Well, I love stuff like that. Old Bud Light sign. There's Fred. There's Wilma. There's Betty right there. And tons more stuff to look at. If you're into roosters, you got all, all kinds of roosters and chickens right there. And you got doggy uh, cookie jars. Look at all this. Some Christmas jars here too. You got a Christmas tree in that uh, jar right here, snowman cookie jar. You got Hot Wheels and you got this cool quick silver riding horse right here. Coin operated. And I'm sure they'll test it out. Looks like it needs a new power cord though, but uh, sure it probably works. And if you don't know, These are phones. Another huge room of all kinds of collectibles. Tons of china, dishware. Oh, you got some Disney stuff over here too. There's Tigger. Look at these right here, these plushies right here. Very nice. Get some old baby shoes and I still have mine. Look at all this stuff. You got some little pre-bagged toys that you can buy for the kids. Just all kinds of stuff. You got the Christmas music playing to get you in the spirit. You got all kinds of ornaments over here. Look at this. Right there. Tons of different ornaments. And then you got Humphrey Bogart right there. Love that. Then on the ceiling, look up here. You got some of these uh, advertisements. Texaco. If you own a mattress like we all do, you can put that over your bed. No, don't do that. Just tons of furniture here. Got some cool chests too. Look at these chests here. Look at that one. I love that. It's real ornate too. No telling the history of some of these uh, pieces. Who owned them? Who may have traveled with them? Yeah, you can spend the whole day here at Gaston Pickers. And look at these old baby carriages right here. Those are neat. <laughs> Looks like they're still usable too. And if you have a Christmas village, you want to put a train around it. This is a good starter right here. And that is, that's only 20 bucks for that. And I love finding little things like this. A little, I guess that's, yeah, it's Minnie Mouse. And you get the Energizer Bunny right here. Those are actually pretty cool collectibles. That's pretty cool right there. That uh, Camel, Joe Camel cigarette salt and pepper shaker right there. 15 bucks. You got some holiday ones too. Got Santa right there. Yeah, all kinds of different themed salt and pepper shakers right there. So you've got that wicker vintage baby carriage right there that's pretty cool raggedy ann and andy it's like they're uh piggy banks right there 20 bucks for the set as is and more christmas decorations and decor for your home but i also saw this uh, cool witch up here I had to see her there you go and she's 45 and there's tigger as a little angel and also poo got their angel outfits on And I loved the books, and I love this figure. And check it out. He's only $3. Yeah, I'm getting him. That is so cute. Look at that little Santa outfit. <laughs> if you have a kid, man, that would look awesome on him. Or her, too. I don't know if that Miss Claus, but that Santa outfit just blows me away. In another booth that I'm looking at here has some cool figures in it and magazines and when i'm in these stores too i love looking for the old movie monster magazines of movie land i collect the heck out of those these old uh 
the shadow figures here too. Look at these, kind of tucked away. Yeah, you'll find stuff here for sure. Check out these beauties up here. Old Budweiser right here. He's, he used to see these at um, over the pool tables, like at uh, some of the clubs, things like that. You get the old Miller High Life right here as well. And check out the Schlitz advertisement right here. That's pretty cool. And over here, looks like that's Marlboro cigarettes right there. And I love this Marlboro uh, country clock right here. And up here, get the old Virginia Slims calendar. Now that's really neat. And that's only $30. That's a vintage uh, Pepsi clock. I'm not sure if it works, but that's pretty neat. In this old Lowenbrow uh, beer clock right here. And how many of you remember the old Light Bright? I remember playing with that all the time. I found these old bendies right here. Looks like it's Lex Luger and Rick Steiner right there. It was pretty old, and I think he's got like eight bucks on them. And I pick up some of the strangest things. Like this John Goodman, Fred Flintstone. Five bucks. So we're walking down this way, and check this out. I love this right here. It's all the World War II uh, portrait of these uh, bomber team. It's like an old B-17 bomber team right there. That's pretty cool right there. Always wonder who those individuals were so yeah 45 for that that's cool just stuff like that just uh the history just love that kind of stuff seeing that and you got these little booths here go through i love going through the books too you never know what you might find and like i said a lot of these booths are really nicely themed check this. some more taxidermy look at the size of that catfish right there huge got that turkey right there all ready to go some mallards right there, some ducks. And wow, look at the size of that skillet. That thing is huge. Some old signage. And some also, you get reproduction stuff too. And this is awesome. I love this in here. Just the way they have it uh, themed out and decorated. Check him out. Some more fish right here. A lot of times the fish are probably uh, the cheaper way to go for taxidermy and decorating your rooms. Look at him. A lot, a lot of nice bucks in here. And check out this carousel horse right here. There you go. Love that. That's beautiful. Some more vintage toys right there from long ago. More tax taxidermy. And look at all these grandfather clocks. Yeah, they got a bunch in here. A lot of hanging clocks. Some antlers up there. Another fish right there. Yeah, it's just some really nice grandfather clocks. I love clocks too. And here's the front of that uh, carousel horse. He's 2500 for him. And check out this old gas stove here. It says it's by New Perfection. That's pretty cool. I guess that's a warmer, maybe. Yeah, it's a knuckin' oven. Very cool. Ready for restoration. Got a little train lantern right there, too. Old barber sign. That's pretty cool. Some more ducks up there, too. And, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of taxidermy in here, too. A lot of old uh, vintage tools, things like that. Again, is that a swordfish or is that a marlin? I, I think it's something to do with the fin. Maybe that's what it is. And even if you're a Green Bay Pack fan, you can get your cheese head here. And here's all that North Carolina pottery that I've told you about in other videos. Kind of native pottery here. Yeah, it's beautiful work here. Definitely if you are not from North Carolina, it's a great souvenir, especially known for the faces on the pottery. Yeah, that's like really native to North Carolina. It's that type of pottery with the faces on it. Yeah, this is beautiful stuff right here. And over here too, some more different designs. Yeah, they're great display pieces too in your home. And some old VHS and Disney movies right there. I'm going to have to slowly go through this stuff. Especially over here. Look at all this right here. Cool. And I was noticing this too. Got some of the Ghost Rider, vintage Ghost Rider figures here, but up here, check out the Beatles. 
yellow submarine. And check these out. My bobbleheads. WCW NWO, the $25 each. You got Diamond Dallas Page, Hogan, and another Diamond Dallas Page. $25 each. Jar Jar doesn't look too happy. <laughs> He's got that thing around his neck. Some more toy goodness right here. There you go. You know, all kinds of Star Wars figures too right here. And if you love die cast cars, check this out. All along here. And look at all these wonderful Hot Wheels. Got tracks too. Some old school tracks. Nice. The orange tracks there. Yeah. This is a real nice booth. I used to collect the heck out of Hot Wheels and Matchbox. So I got a little bit of both. And they also got the uh, Johnny Lightning, stuff like that. But it looks like it's mainly Hot Wheels. Oh, all of the old classic Hot Wheel packaging, too, on the cars. And it looks like over here are the other collectibles in the showcase right here. Wow. Especially in up there, too, on top. And then over here. Yeah, they got there. They got your die cast cars, for sure. This is a really nice booth, and there they are right there. Since 68diecast.com. So, I think that's when Hot Wheels started, 1968. Maybe that's what they're referring to. Sounds about right. I'm going to head down this way. And as you walk around, too, you might find little showcases like this to be sure to check these out. It's like costume jewelry. Very nice. And what's an antique shop without your Mickey phone? And check out this Christopher Reeve looking uh, Superman by Mego, I think. And you got Spider Man and Batman. There's some really cool stuff in there. And this is the main room here. I'll walk around here real quick. Check out the old carousel horse right here, too. He's for sale. But this is really nice. I love how they have it decorated in here. We love walking in here and checking it out. Connie's having a good time. She's found a few things herself today that we're actually going to use at home. Got a chair there. Hang your hat up or your coat. There I am there. I'm filming. But, uh, yeah, I love the trinkets, too. I love this wooden ship here. I love these type of things, too, right there. So I turn it around. It's called the Star of Scotland. Just, I mean, look at the intricate details on that. That's beautiful. And check out that old Polaroid right there. That's very cool. That's 75 right there. Comes with that flash too. And this booth has all kinds of different trinkets. Little decorations for your home. All kinds of salt and pepper shakers down there. Check out this kind of art deco -y lamp here. I love that. All kinds of cool glassware. Look at that pumpkin. That's very cool. Just walking through here. Everything in here is 10% off. A lot of glassware. And plushies up there. Oh, crow up there too. Or is that a raven? It's probably a raven. Old Bell South sign over there. And again, make sure you check out all the display cases here too. You might find something. Got all kind of coins. Oh, look at the old razors there too. That's neat. Mighty Mouse. And of course you get your comic books here. That's very nice. Magazines, which I probably have to go through and see if they've got any of the monster stuff again. And also you get your vinyl. That looks pretty interesting. I'm not quite sure if that's He-Man or what that is. If you know, please leave a comment in the description what that might be. Let's see. Snake Mountain. Oh, it is He-Man. 35 for that. There you go, Snake Mountain. So if you're into He-Man, get Snake Mountain right here at Gaston Pickers. And check out these lace-up vans right here. Yep, they're size 12. They're almost my size. I'm size 11. I could probably wear them, but yeah, Star Wars themed lace-up vans. And more Tonka toys. That stoplight right there. Let's see how much he is. And he's 250 for him. 
there's another Winnebago. <laughs> More Tonkas here, tons of them. Got this cool tractor down here. And then you got all kinds of pins oil, oil cans. And I spotted this AMF firefighter pedal car there, but right next to it, they got this uh, model roller coaster up there. That's pretty neat. And they got Elvira way back there in the back. That little standee right there. Here she is. Yeah, it looks like the Olsen twins have probably seen better days. And there's just aisles and aisles of goodness all here at Gas and Pickers. Yeah, I just love walking through here and checking out the furniture too. We've got a great selection of furniture. Look at that mirror over that sofa. And that's a really nice china cabinet there too. Just taking you through here, checking out these booths. Look at the cedar chest right there. It's really nice. Having a big sale too. Christmas sale also coming up. The train sets here too. Look at the size of him. A little playmate statue. Well, he's not little. He's <laughs> huge. Check that uh, Meg up there too. Russian jet. Or is that Chinese? Maybe, I think it's Russian. I could be I could be wrong. And you have this shark for 25 bucks. And you got this uh, Lux Luther figure right here. And right next to him, you got Zod. And holy moly, you got this bag of Smurfs right here. Trying to see, I think they're four, yeah, four dollars each, maybe twenty eight for the entire bag. I don't know, it's like, no, thirty for the entire bag of Smurfs. So if you're missing one, he's probably in here. So if you come to Gas and Pickers, see Sharon. This is her booth here. She's got all her Christmas stuff off for seventy five percent. She got the Christmas Village too. Those are nice. And Connie's talking to her right now, Sharon, right there. And she got all kinds of CDs over here, movies right here and then she's got glassware over here right across from here so it's this booth and she's b61 b60 i think so all across here but she's got a great amount of christmas stuff here for decorations coffee mugs yeah but the christmas village stuff really nice and sharon also has this booth here too with all these teddy bears so if you're into teddy bears she's got a bunch to choose from right here little statues too love this crystal too so she's got tons of crystal this is beautiful and again 70 percent off that imagine you'll get some great prices here on the crystal lamps 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 and i found this in this showcase right here it says you deserve an award and it says Disney MGM on the bottom there. And if you know what that is or how you got that award or if it's just something that you buy, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. And you also get a Mercedes grill right here. It was 110, so it's 50% off. <laughs> if you need a grill, here you go. But well, I love all these little trinkets he's got in here too. Check it out. There's, again, there's an old uh, Navy crew right there. Photograph. Look at those Boy Scout patches, too. And the one thing I do notice about uh, a lot of the antique stores, too, you get a lot of people from other countries that come in here. You want to take some uh, old Americana home with you? Yeah, you can get them in the antique stores for sure. So even these old little oil can, uh, oil squirters here. You squirt your oil. Lubricate your stuff. We got an old uh, recorder right there. I remember, I think we had one of those. That's pretty neat. An old time clock right there. We got all kinds of stuff in this one. The old Pepsi bottles right there. Old long necks. And again, that's a phone. And uh, if you need a Mustang in front of your grill right there, I got that. I've got the entire car, so that's pretty cool. It's cool for, <laughs> for decorating your house with. Yeah, take home a piece of history here, too. There's lots to go through and uh display in your home or if there's something that you just remember in your childhood or some nostalgia yeah gas and pickers good chance we're gonna have it here and check out this big boy plushie he's 23 1960 wow that that's that's been around a while 
and these are frightening yeah and you got a cabbage patch doll right there too that's even more frightening in another Christmas booth here, all kinds of decorations and ornaments and Santa Clauses and train sets. Also got some snow globes too. Look at that. And more furniture goodness all through here. So, yeah, just wanted to take you through here. Check it all out. If you're ever in town in Gastonia, come to the Gaston Piggers and see this old taxidermy badger right there so as you check out too look at all these great collectibles here the thing about it don't ask <laughs> for anything on here because they're not for sale this is his personal collection but he's got some really cool toys along here and collectibles all through here you know like those coca-cola collectibles so yeah if you make it here to gaston pickers there's a lot to choose from, especially for Christmas gifts. Great place to come to, or even Christmas decorations, just rows and rows. So thanks for joining me here at Gaston Pickers, and they're off of exit 19 on I-85. Easy to find, not far from the exit at all. All right, guys, have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, Christmas is coming up, and I wanted to show you some al you know, alternative... <laughs> Hold on. Hi folks, Todd here, and today we are at American, uh, not American Pickers, we're at Gaston Pickers. That's where we're at, yeah. Yeah, Gaston Pickers is behind us. <laughs>